Hello guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, and today we are going to get started. Let me move this microphone up. Just like a little bit more. Oh yeah. We're gonna get started right into the mission that we need to do. Okay guys, okay, fuck! This shit's annoying the shit out of me. Hello, what do you want, sir? You a tough guy, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. Oh, look, You're sure. Way over your head, words, son. Wanna have a showdown? I'll showdown. I don't know what type of beef you have with me, but, but sure. See, so you're gonna count to three. Check it out. So you're gonna go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect! Poor guy. I'm gonna check his pulse really quickly, make sure he's what okay. We Alright, we're good. He's just a boy. What was that? Hello? Oh, they took my boy! Oh my, my god! Ma'am! John Merson, are you he's okay? Only a youngster. My boy is missing. Oh. Where? Who took him? No! John Marston! Who are you talking to? Can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. I will talk. I'll talk to you. Where? Okay. Oh, no. Well, let's go find her husband. Or her boy. I don't think it matters nowadays. Well, in the Wild West. Wait, did I just see something right there? Dude, it's a possum! Look, guys, it's a possum! Oh, wow, it's another possum! Fuck yeah! Score! Dude, we got a possum. This is a messy one. Yeah, stinky. No, nah, that's a possum. Haha, <laughs> we're here. It took like forever, but whatever. Whatever. Let's see, and it's a pile of bones and blood, and a shoe. Dude, I swear to God, I don't know why I thought John Marston was going to taste the blood. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. Then it'd be my pleasure. Ooh, we're doing this in the middle of the night? Let's go. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. I got a telegram from some federal clouds in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of official? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. 
Ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Remember down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. We need to stick together, boy. Them rustlers might be waiting for us. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, taming a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Everybody dismount. Follow me. Whoa there. Let's move up the canyon. Let's go, baby. Some money. Stop falling behind. We gotta push forward. This way. Right. How do you go? There you're not. Pretty damn good shooting, John. Coming from you, friend. You can still run away. All right, boys. Let's move up to the bridge. I need to loot some bodies. It's over, friend. Guys, let me loot the body. Hey. The fuck you talking about? That feller's dead. Oh, he dead as a doornail, son of a bitch. Dude, we are getting ourselves some ammunition. Why are you looking at me? You guys have guns too. Calm down. Push forward. We gotta get to the marshal. Hey, is that you or me? We should cross the Where's the marshal up here? He's giving them hell on the other side. That marshal of yours sure doesn't seem to mind getting his hands dirty. Oh, he's not dead yet. He ain't dead. You got him good. Don't tell me that, because if I do somehow die, it's your fault. It's all your fault. You might as well give it up now. We're doing this now? Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Excuse me, Marshal. I have to shoot this guy in the head. Yeah. I'm looting bodies, guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to see something. Never mind. 
kid. Good shot. You bum, should bum, run bam. off home. Run on home to your mommy. Die. Die. Perfect. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You'd say that again. But well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves. And the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Perfect. Look at all those huge cows. Oh my god. Wait, is this a cattle mission? I don't want to freaking herd cattle. Oh, you cows! Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. 
I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with cows. Cows. Why? Where are you going, horse? You're acting like you're you're going on your own mission, like your own story mode. This is my storyline, not yours. Come on, boy. Yeah. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Bonnie, you are very nice and generous. Thank you very much. Come on, cows. <laughs> These are acting like a bunch of cows. <laughs> okay, enough with the cow joke. All right. He's just showing off now. All right, let's move this large herd out to the far oh, pasture. Oh, shit. Come on, cows. God damn it. That was a snake. Keep going, Mr. Marston. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Damn right I was. Wait, no, I wasn't a cow. Wait, I wasn't a cow? What? Bonnie! Excuse me, sir, you need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck, god damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. <laughs> Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Careful, don't break more. your hip. Just sit up straight, will you? Alright, that was such a bad joke. That was just a really mean bad joke. Okay. The closest doctor is in Armadillo! Bam, ba bam What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken for somebody else, friend. I got it! Then come back and finish me off! You're just about dead! Looks like you got them all! Oh out. shit! Get me to a doctor! This is gonna be difficult. What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlums! The scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die! I doubt I can see that. Once again, a man in a well cut suit if this happens! Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker is a funny sense of humor sometimes. Still, at least I met you. I just want... And I love a 
God, stick it to the road! Perfect. How much further? Not too far, buddy. I knew you'd come. Get that armadillo! Come on, hurry! This is it. You're gonna make it. Oh, oh, where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Oh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. All right, let's go here. All right, we're going to talk to Marshall. Oh, this mission's really gnarly. Holy... Get, be prepared, guys. <laughs> ah! Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Go. All right, boys, let's move it out. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest, but people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that Wes Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel-mouthed Funko artist I've never met. We should check it out. Marston, Eli. On it. What is going on over here? Wow. Ain't no survivors yep. here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. I already have that gun, but thank let's you. Go. All right, let's go see what's going on. Let's stay on this road. Maybe the folks at Ridgewood Farm saw something. A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain meat. I think it's this land that makes the men, as much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Oh. Any number of people, especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. A man gets more evil when he's running scared. Poor vultures! This don't look so good! Alright, let's go check it out. Yep. Sons of bitches. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on!
Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. I know where to go. Alright, uh, warning, there's some nudity and dead bodies, so. Alright, last chance, so. Okay. Alright. Is brutal. Okay. You want to stop uh, doing now that? I have a motive. Now I'm motivated to kill these guys. Very motivated. Hey, we got Damn it, Black! Get fucked. Who do you think you are? All right, we're not gonna loot all these guys. I'm, I don't need to loot Sweet anything else. Last chance to put the gun down. Help! This arrest still is one. You're making a big mistake, friend. Get fucked. You and me gonna have ourselves. Oh, get fucked. You're gonna be all right. Head for the shed in the back you as soon as it looks clear. You dare talk like that, you dirty son of a bitch. Can make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. Thank you. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Let's go, Tom. Some folk tried to escape into the south, but then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing! You just some man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives! Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. It ain't about the money, Marshal! These are people's lives! People's homes! <laughs> Let's go! Get on your horse, boy! Where's my horse? Where's my horse? We can still catch Sons of bitches. Do you think Sons of bitches are gonna die Marshall, now. Marshall? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All oh, this sure looks like their handiwork. Makes sense if we took this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. What's your faith with waves in any way, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. So bear it in mind, he's left... Wait, who's that up there? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. 
Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Come on, sons of bitches, you think you can get away with murder? Oh, I accidentally shot the horse. Sorry, horsey. Shut the horse! No! Horse, get out of the way! I don't want to hurt you. Perfect. Hey, look what I got here! This something makes you still breathing. Come here, boy. Come on, Missy. Give. Oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck! Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck you! <coughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Perfect. Fifty dollars. Let's okay, we're here. I'm gonna loot this chest. And then um I don't need to get in my nighty night clothes. Alright. We're done. That's it for today. Hope you have enjoyed. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. If you want more of this, comment down below. And I'll probably see it. I don't know. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace.